Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel. Regular viewers will know I review many photographic, audio and video related products. Well today I'm doing uh, hopefully a brief look at two different products but they both do pretty much the same thing. And what we're looking at today is whether to choose when you're, you're out doing your podcasting or even video production, uh, whether to choose the uh, portable Zoom H6 which, is, uh, which I've got here. Um, a very, very useful, fantastic piece of kit. Um, I use that on a regular basis. Or the Zoom L8 Live Track Recorder or Live Track L8 Portable Battery Stroke Mains Powered Stroke USB Powered um, Recorder. Now, what are the main differences really? Well, obviously the Zoom H6 is quite a bit smaller, as you can see here, than the um, uh, L8. In fact, it's obviously no comparison. Um, now, the, Z, the H6 has got four uh, built-in XLR inputs with manual audio controls on these inputs. So, uh, and that is uh, great. So, there's no fiddling around with menus or anything like that. Once you've got your XLR leads plugged in, your microphones plugged in, you've got your um, XLR control, you know, your audio controls just here which is absolutely awesome. You can, it's a, it's a four uh, input one, but you can buy a module that fits on the top here, where it takes another two inputs. Um, and that's also fantastic. Um, there's phantom power to all these four channels, but there's no phantom power to the additional two channels. So that would have to be dynamic microphones plugged into them. Um, and that's a portable audio interface to your computer plus um, a built-in recorder. So it records two SD cards, um, an SD card that's built into it. If we arm one of those channels, you can see there, uh, that's these two microphones built in. You can see there that the um, audio level is going up and down on the lovely color display on this mixer. Um, well, it is a mixer on this um, audio recorder. So what I, what I would do and what I do do if I'm going out and about and I want something nice and compact, uh, I might take my laptop with me, probably my MacBook, which is sat over here, you probably can't see. Um, and I would probably take the H6 because it does so much. So you've got your four inputs, you've got your building microphone if you need that, records to SD card, as well as actually outputting as an audio interface to your computer uh, with a, a great display. So. Uh, battery operated as well, just AA batteries that fit underneath there. So you've got your AA batteries or you can power it via uh, a USB block, uh, maybe a portable USB block or your computer can power it. So very, very flexible piece of kit. Where the L8 comes into its own, it is battery operated, will run off four AA batteries. So that is also fabulous. Um, but it's got six inputs as opposed to four. Uh, well, effectively, that has six as well, as long as the two other inputs don't require phantom power. But this has got six native inputs, uh, of which phantom power can be fed to all inputs um, and a host of other gizmos and, and what have you. Um, Built-in audio pad with six, uh, pre, uh, six or eight, I think it's six, um, pre-installed uh, sound effects you can put if you need that for your channel um, four separate headphone outputs etc etc um, and obviously built-in SD card as a recorder so again that would be used I would take this out if I knew I was going to a location where I'm going to be set up for any length of time and I knew there might be quite a few people that need to be interviewed um, because this is battery operated or can be powered via the mains using the USB port um, or it can be used as an audio interface. This has more flexibility, but it's just bigger and bulkier. Um, it's like a, it's a portable podcasting studio. So, um, so there we go. Either or really do the job. The audio quality that comes off both of these units is very, very good. Um, what you're listening to now is actually being recorded via me Rode pod mic that is um, uh, plugged into it, plugged into channel one. Um, and I'm recording that, I'm outputting that. Um, and that is, <laughs> get me headphones on, right? That does help. Um, but 
obviously, if you're doing podcasting, you'd be much closer to the mic. And it produces, as you can hear from this, really, really nice quality sound. Normally, I would have a pop filter probably over the top. Um, so you would have that pop filter which uh, stops, well, helps to stop the plosives. Um, but uh, yeah, really, really nice microphone, um, nice audio piece of kit. Yeah, um, either of these would do the job brilliantly for your podcasting. Um, and if you're doing video production and you need a mixer of either or, and you need to take some out, you know you've got two or three clients that are going to be interviewed um, and you want great sound quality, well, there's no harm in taking either or because you can, um, with this, you can plug your XLR microphone straight into this uh, and you can take a feed out of it. It's got a line output on the bottom here. I don't know if you can see that. It's got a line output on the bottom there, which take, will take an output directly to your camera, be it mirrorless camera or DSLR or camcorder or whatever. So you get lovely clean audio coming into this, but you can feed it out uh, to your camera. I think the same you can do with the L8. So I haven't had it long enough to test it yet, but it has got two stereo balanced outputs. I'm absolutely convinced you'll be able to take the outputs from this into your camcorder. And if not, you just post sync it easy enough to do, not difficult at all. So um, yeah, portability, the H6 for portability, no shadow of doubt about that whatsoever. Um, and the L8 portable because it's battery operated, but a lot more flexible if you want those sound effects built in, if you need more channels. Um, and the other great thing with the L8s, if you're going out and about and you need to uh, plug a phone in, great thing is I've got my uh, Samsung S10 plugged directly into it via its uh, headphone jack at the bottom. And you can take phone calls directly from the Samsung S10 through the mixer and record it. So that's um, awesome as well. Um, so yeah, both of these products from Zoom are great for your video production and great for your podcasting. It's also great if your podcast is also going to go on YouTube, because I know there's many channels that run a podcast channel, but they film it, so they put it on YouTube as well. So you could have this probably sat just out of shot, maybe even have it in shot. I mean, it could I probably would have it in shot, to be honest. And I would use VL8 because it's incredibly flexible for that particular purpose, and it looks smart and does the job. So there we go. That's my thoughts on the Zoom H6 and the um, uh, Zoom L8, you know, live track L8. And I will be doing a review of various podcasting microphones coming up. I'm very, very new to this and I'm understanding more about them. Um, I'm really enjoying the um, this particular microphone, the uh, uh, Rode uh, pod mic. I also have a couple of these microphones, which uh, I really like these are great value. This is the Marantz MPN one MPM one thousand. Um, I bought a few of these. These are great microphones um, and great value for money. Fifty quid each. You know, proper metal made. Um, nice piece of kit and nice sound quality. So I will do uh, some comparisons between this and the Rode pod mic uh, in a future video so thanks for watching if you do enjoy my channel uh, please subscribe if you haven't already done so it really means a lot to me it helps me grow the channel and if you like this particular video um, uh, hit the like button that also helps me grow the channel really appreciate that so thanks very much for watching stay tuned for more videos relating to video and photography thank you bye for now